Hey, and welcome to this week's 3x3. This is going to be on how not to get caught in the weeds, where we're sharing with you three tips in three minutes. I have with me Rahul. My name is Chaz. We're with Magnetic Speaking. We're very excited. We're going to jump right into this. So tip number one, Rahul, you got one minute. Take it away. Great. So tip number one, when you want to avoid the weeds, is first understanding what's the opposite. What is the thing that you want to do? And that is called strategic mm -hmm. communication. And that just sounds like a buzzword or what does that even really mean? Strategic communication means that you're speaking at a higher level of your project and the work that you're doing. So if you're, for example, working in IT security and you're working on a particular vulnerability, if you just communicate in the details, in the weeds, that means you someone asks you about the project, it's cross-functional, and you start going, oh, you know, this is what we did this morning and and then this is what we found and blah, blah, and suddenly you're going into a diagnosis. That's not what you want if you're speaking to a cross-functional team or different people in your organization. They're going to get lost. What it means to be strategic means that you speak at one level up and you remind them what are the goals of this project. And you say, we want this product to be completely uh, invulnerable to attacks and that's why we're working on this. Now, what we've been doing, and then you go into the detail. So that's what strategic communication is, is being able to speak to the project goals, department goals first before jumping into uh, any of the weeds. Thanks for that, Rahul. And tip number two, I'm gonna share how to do that. So going on Rahul's example is he had explained when you go into a meeting to be more strategic, you have to say, why is everyone here? And why is it important? So for example, when you come into that meeting, you say, hey, we're all here so we can be a better company and help our clients succeed more in virtual attacks. It's important because we really have to serve them well and what we're doing here matters. That's extremely high level. Then as Rahul said, you can go into the details, but taking 15 seconds and just explaining why is everyone here and why is it important is going to help you be more of a strategic communicator. Awesome. Rahul, please share tip number three. So tip number three is that you also want to understand company initiatives. This way you can really tie your project to your department all the way up to the initiatives of the company. So for example, if I know that our chief security officer, their initiative is that we have the most, uh, we have the safest, and most reliable product on the market, that's the company initiative. And that's where my project lies. I'm not just working on this particular vulnerability in the product, I'm working at that level of initiative. Now that doesn't mean in every, every the caveat here is that you, know, you don't go into every meeting and you tell them the high level benefits every single time, that would be kind of weird. You don't wanna do that. You mm -hmm. wanna do that from time to time to remind people why you're working on what you're working on. And this is more specific to executive updates, executive presentations. When you're speaking to the executive team, you definitely don't want to get stuck in the details. And you definitely want to, don't want to do that when you're speaking to cross-functional teams as well. So if you're seeing your project team every day, don't take this video and go, oh, I need to speak to those benefits levels every single time. That's not going to make sense. So that's a big caveat that we want you to understand when you're speaking strategically. But if you take this, you implement it, you're going to start noticing that people are going to see you more as a strategic leader and not as someone who's just a higher hand. Great. Thank you for that, Rahul. Well, today's 3x3 three three is how not to get caught in the weeds, how to be more of a strategic communicator. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.